welcome back in our last lecture i have described the advantage of ions in the scanning microscopy purpose as compared to the electrons today we will see uh, how ions uh, are generated in helium ion microscope uh, let us see first a schematic diagram of scanning ion microscope before we go to talk about the ion source. In a the schematic is not much different as per the arrangement is concerned just the uh, there are certain difference as compared to the scanning electron microscope. Both in case of scanning electron microscope and helium ion microscope we have source or ion gone here that time we are talking about electron gone here we will say ion gone ion gone sitting at the top of the microscope column because it is a ion gone so we have to create ions certainly we should have a particular gas it can be helium it can be neon it can be gallium so imaging gases has to be there which will be ionized and ions will be formed then extractor is there extractor will extract the ions from the tip to create uh, a virtual image of this spot then extractor is there then we have several type of lenses in case of electron microscope we were having electron magnetic lens but remember here in helium ion microscope we do not use any electron magnetic lens all lenses in helium ion microscope are electrostatic in nature because ions are weakly affected by magnetic field as ions are weakly affected by magnetic field we do not use electromagnetic lens rather we use electrostatic lens in helium ion microscope. Then ion beam is coming we use uh, different aperture as before in electron microscope apertures are used to reduce the beam size, change the uh, angle of aperture, uh, use the change the beam current to control all these things we use aperture. Then like scanning electron microscope here also we have deflector coils that would allow you uh, us to scan the ion beam across the surface as a raster manner. Then we have final objective lens and the ion beam will come and strike the surface of this specimen. Once it strikes the surface or incident on this uh, specimen then we have uh, electron detector which is here I S E. We have ion detector that is the backscattered ion detector, BS uh, backscattered ion detector, and we can also have a transmission detector uh, which we may discuss later. So, this is what the typical uh, schematic of uh, the helium ion microscope. Ion uh, uh, have been used in the microscope for a long time for, a, for different purpose, particularly for.